Five, six, four, eight, put them pimps on I need 45,000 in the six songs Now they mad cause they bitch gon' sing along You ain't gotta worry homie, I just wanna be alone Five, six, four, eight, put them pimps on I need 45,000 in the six songs Now they mad cause they bitch gon' sing along You ain't gotta worry Yo! Welcome back to the channel Today, we are gonna do some Paint work, unfortunately you see that? How that happened, you're asking yourself. Well, when I was backing out of my driveway this past Tuesday and again on yesterday, which was Friday, my bumper got caught um, right at the right at the end of the driveway. I have a concrete driveway, and there's a piece of wood that's in between um, a section and the concrete. And somehow, I guess it's kind of loose, and when a certain amount of weight hits it, at the wrong angle it raises up and right at the end where my driveway meets the road it slopes down so therefore my bumper is already on the ground by that time it caught that piece of wood which started pulling the bumper which uh, as you see made it crack so Today, unfortunately, got to resend this slip in a couple places in the bumper. And I literally just repainted this slip like two months ago. Uh, well, since I'm gonna be doing that, I'm also gonna be repainting around the window trim. As you can see here, it's all faded and crusty looking so I'm gonna fix that so about to get her done Here's a quick little update. Got it all uh, primered up and everything. Getting ready to smooth it down. Well, wet sand it with um, 1000 grit. As you see, I started working on my headlights too. Cause I had some spots that was peeling. So I'm trying to fix that and have them smooth again. They are six years old, so it was time. But yeah, got this all smoothed out. About the wet sand it, like I said, it was uh, 1000 grit. And then put the base coat on. Then I'm going to let that sit for a good, till, up till tomorrow. I'll probably get up in the morning sometime and uh, spray the actual 1F silver metallic on here. I mean, no, the clear coat. I'm going to spray the silver tonight, but I'll put the clear coat on it tomorrow to let the clear coat cure overnight. So, yeah, I'll get back to you. I'm 
Tico when I'm filled up with formaldehyde suicide. Got the base coat all finished up. So this is where I'm gonna end it off for tonight. And then I'll come back in the morning or sometime tomorrow in a dirty clear coat on. But it is smooth. So I only gotta do just a little bit of wet sanding with the 1500 grit just to finish it off. And then throw the clear coat over top of that. Also got this window trim done, like I said I was. So yep. Yeah. As you see in here, it's nighttime. And your boy tired. So like I said, I'm gonna let this cure overnight. Then I'm gonna come back. And finish it up so I catch you guys in the morning. Finally one color again. Now, uh, granted this is a rattle can job, so. And I'm not a um, professional paint and body person, but this is as good as it's gonna get, at least for now anyway. Um, it looks good from a distance, but you can see its share of imperfections up close, which, like I said, I'm somewhat okay with since I'm not a professional body person, but at least it's all one color again and no flaking crap, missing paint. Irritated about this though. When I was uh, wet sanding, I went a little bit too hard screwed that up and of course I didn't have any more silver paint to touch that up so let's see if I would have had some 2k clear it probably would have looked 10 times better but since here in North Carolina none of these uh, stores that sell paint have 2k clear at all which sucks and I'm impatient I am very impatient <laughs> especially when I'm sure some of you car guys would know when something's not looking right on your car or messed up on your car, you don't want to drive it without it being 100% right. So, I wanted to go ahead and get this junk done this weekend while I was off. So, I may end up ordering that 2K clear uh, from Amazon or something and waiting on it for it to come in and then probably wet sand again I think I need to go and get the highest number I wet sanded with was 1500 grit I think I need to go and get maybe two or even three thousand grit just to smooth it out some more and finish her up finish her all up but yeah um, that's gonna be it for this video I'll catch you guys in the next one be easy I'll put the shit with the